three months later and Lee's still swinging for the fences. Let's see if he can get this zombie here. Oh, right in the back of the skull. Down he goes. What do we got? Save lots? And who's this guy? This guy's new. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks some sort of rabbit. Yeah. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. So they must have found this guy right at the uh, start of the, except then I'd probably be or the finish of the last episode. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. All right, so the guy's name's Mark. Carly's rations the other night. I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Well, rule number one: don't grab someone else's food. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Uh, Lily, not enough. Oh, of course we'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Levy knows it's important to keep the Yeah, but does anyone really like her dad? Sometimes they could always eat her dad. Got miss you think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? Probably not. I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's not going to leave us. Oh, perfect. Right there. He's Top one. He's a good man. Uh, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Because he's, he's a cranky old man. In particular. Got a raven there or a crow? Uh, I think some dangerous racist. Uh, looking out for his daughter. We'll go fly. He's looking for his daughter. Looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And Would anyone? In the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah, I almost killed you, Lee. Back at the pharmacy there. Oh, don't shoot the bird. That's a waste of a bullet. No, no. Uh, don't, don't risk the noise. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Ooh, who's that? Was that Kenny? Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's go, Lee. And what was his name? Mark. Lee and Mark to the rescue. Nice open wooded area. Looks like an old creek bed down there, maybe. Ah! Left. Yeah. Ooh. Stepped in an old bear trap there, eh? Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it Someone's off. in a bear get trap. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? We're not going to hurt you. We raided... Uh... Here. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. You gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Not our problem. We'll try. We'll try. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Oh, we got walkers coming. Please, hurry. Get him out of the trap, guys. Oh no, we're gonna have to cut his leg off. Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Two? At least. I mean you guys have been yelling in the woods. It's now or never Lee. Please! Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, Slice dice, serve on rice. Oh, break the chain. Um look at rock, stick. See if we can break the chain with our axe. Nothing, or do we gotta cut it off the tree? Maybe. Why would somebody do this? Try to cut the chain. Oh, can I cut it off the tree? Back. 
Um, rock. We're gonna chop the whole tree down? No, I want to chop it down there. Alright, that's not gonna work. Um, I don't want to. Grab the rock. No, okay, it's leg time. We're cutting this leg off. I'm sorry, friend. Alright, sorry. Oh, golly. Wow. Lee. Whoa. Wowzers. Alright, here comes the second one. Oh, right through the tibia and the fibia. Last one, hopefully. Oh, golly. Yep. Wait, one more. I don't think it's all the way through. Is it? I can't tell. Yeah, last one. Ah, there it goes. Wowzers. That's painful. Good golly. Well, we already got a tourniquet on his leg. Wowzers. Talk about a welcome to episode two. All right, Mark's carrying the teacher guy, and then we got Ben, and who was the other student? Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Travis, okay, Travis, you gotta go, bud. Or fall, you know, that's cool too. Yep, Travis is gone. How'd he get all the way over there? The Walking Dead, here we go, episode two. Back to the motel with uh, the guy missing half his leg. Starved for help. So if you didn't catch it at the start of the episode, they jumped three months since the end of the first episode. Still at the motel here. Clem playing with the soccer ball. Katya and Duck just drawing. Lily on Overwatch. So far we haven't seen Carly. I said the gang coming out of the woods. I mean there'd be some yelling, right? Am I controlling her? No. There's Carly. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down? You'd die if we'd have left him. No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Because he would have died. died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. <laughs> Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? <laughs> um, no? Fine. You guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. <laughs> Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the Clem the Great Diffuser. But we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. You tell him, Kenny. Come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. 
Guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? <laughs> About the only thing you're worth, or the only thing you can do, mend fences. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. <laughs> Good luck. We got some cheese and crackers, an apple. Something else? I think there's four items total. Four items for ten hungry people. Half an apple, piece of beef jerky, two cheese and crackers. All right, so what is Lee going to do? I think we give some to Kenny. Yeah, I think Ken we have to go Kenny because I think long term Kenny's our better bet. The guy in the back of the truck, he's on his own. He ain't getting any food. All right, let's go. Let's talk to Katya, see what she says about a uh, legless man here. Okay. I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Uh, I did the right thing. It's what your husband wanted. I did, I the, did right the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Ain't it the truth? Well... You've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay. Let's go talk to... What was his name? Ben? Let's go talk to Ben here. He ain't getting any food, but we're going to talk to him. Got a little cat there. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Uh, sure. We'll find that hat for you. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. All right, let's talk to Ben here, see what he has to say. Hey, is my friend going to make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Uh, so who are you? How are you holding? So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. Stone Mountain. Uh, we're not giving him food, but let's ask him this. Uh, well, I, um, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. <laughs> uh, you did all you could. I don't know either. You'll be prepared next time. We'll go if you'll be prepared you'll next be prepared time. Next time. Next time. Yeah. Yeah, you're not getting Relax. food. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. So I think. Uh, let's go talk to Kenny here and see what Kenny has to say. What's he holding? Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Who's our? Does that include you Clem and Lee? Me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. You should stay here. The coast doesn't... Coast doesn't sound like a smart idea. Okay. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. All right, so it sounds like we're going to go with Kenny here. We'll give him some food here. Want something to eat? Uh, give him, we'll give him the piece of jerky. Hey, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. All right, so it sounds like Duck's getting some food. 
talk to let's talk to Duck here, and then we'll talk to Carly. Uh, how you doing there, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? <laughs> no. Uh, you're a pretty brave kid. Brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix them. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Uh, we'll give him the pizza beef jerky. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. All right, let's talk to Carly here. See what she has to say. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Hmm. Poor Doug. Um. See what she has to say. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. Hmm, hints. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. All right, let's go talk to Mark and Larry. And then I think, is Lily over there too? Let's see. Ba -ba -ba, the soccer ball. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Yeah, there's that nasty scene that happened up there. Can you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Dang, okay. Wow, I really don't want to give you any food. But let's talk to Mark here first. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Capture can save him. Uh, ever missed the Air Force Base? Do, 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 do. Ever missed the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Hmm. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Mr. Grumpy Pants. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I guess. I really don't want to give up. Uh, give it to Mark here. Here, Mark. This should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Really? Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. All right, Larry. I guess you're gonna get something here. I'll give you the I'll give you the apple here in a second. Uh, I need to get along. Lily wants to ditch the new people. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We got to start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Would you? Because you would have never got your nitroglycerin uh, from the pharmacy if it wasn't for Lee. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Here, Larry. Uh, you'll get half an apple. I hope you don't think this makes us friends. I could have gave you nothing. <sighs> All right, so I think I got... Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Thing, two things of cheese and crackers. Um, let's look at the fence. We gotta find Clem's hat. Where's her hat at? Let's give let's give Katya some food, uh, and then we'll give the other thing to Lily. Maybe decisions, decisions. All right, since she's the doctor. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. Oh, okay. I need space, Lee. Okay, fine. No food for you then. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Let's talk to Lily here. 
Uh, let's talk about you and Kenny. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. Mm, beg All to differ. Food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Uh, we should think about leaving here? Eh, I guess I'll say it. We should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Um, I got two crackers left, maybe her. Here. Give her some crackers and cheese. Toss it on up there. I don't want anything from you. Alright, uh, I'll take it away then. The take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. And then we'll give the last piece... Ooh, uh, say last piece for somewhere else. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I guess we give it to... We already gave duck food. Um, let's give it to Carly. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. No. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. So wait, I still... <laughs> no, no one wants the cheese and crackers? Alright, fine. Clem gets some cheese and crackers. Jeez. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ice cream sounds pretty good right now, too. Alright, so the kids ate. Uh, and Larry ate. Not such an easy job, is it? Nope. Not one of those four and ten. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. <sighs> Thank you, Kenny. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Probably not, but that's okay. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. It's okay. Well, we tried. Problem anymore. What about the other kid? Lily wants some god. I don't know. Oh shit! Um, that was a quick turn. All right, axe. The axe, Mark. All right, what do we gotta do here? They better be coming with that damn axe. Oh, we gotta hit his head into the side rails. Move, move. Uh, shove back. Oh, come on, Mark. Kick him in the face. Alright, come on, Mark. Get that axe out. Jesus. Oh. Gonna crush his eyes out. Come on, Lee. You got this, Lee. Jeez. Oof. You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Maybe he'll have a heart attack and just Why drop dead. tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? 
Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Oof. We're all infected. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Wait, Whoa, more people? Lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Uh, we don't, we wanna... don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine. But uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to... Ah, there's the food. We can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. A little gas for food? Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? No deal, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll go to the dairy we'll and take a peek. A we'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this All right, well, I think that's a fantastic place for us to go ahead and pause here. We've been going for quite some time, and it'll give us something to look forward to in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like uh, the video and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this content on time and in orderly fashion. Uh, go ahead and give me a comment down, down below what you think is going to happen in the next episode with the, uh, was it the St. John's Dairy? Uh, maybe some weird vibes, maybe not. Maybe it's just gas for food. We're going to find out. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next episode.